Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 14th, 2020. Well, last week we had a little bit of a consolidation, sideways move, a little bit of profit taking came in there, but by the end of the week, the bulls proved to hold on to key levels of support. So th you can see I've marked 300, which is 30,000 on the Dow. And although we pushed below it and there was a little bit of a threat there from time to time, at the end of the day, the bulls held that up. Now this morning we are fueled up on vaccine news. So topping out here, pushing up higher this morning. So what does that mean for today or the rest of this week? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's settle into our office chairs and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we've all seen the news um, that uh, Pfizer, uh, the Pfizer vaccine is now being shipped. Um, there is a tremendous amount of hopefulness around that, which of course everyone welcomes uh, simply because the, um, the numbers out there are not good. Over the weekend, um, infection rates and hospitalizations hit new records. So um, it is a wonderful relief to see that vaccine shipping. Now we have to contend with the issues of getting it out there and getting enough people inoculated. According to some of the reports, the hope is to have about 30% of the population inoculated uh, by March. So keep a close eye on that. Um, um, uh, any stumbles in, um, in that vaccine news could certainly create um, some pushback in the market. So watch that closely. Right now, um, nothing else seems to matter. As a matter of fact, we had a very, very serious cyber attack on the U.S. And um, that even inspired a national security meeting at the White House on Sunday because they even attacked the U.S. Treasury. Um, but right now, none of that seems to matter. Um, normally, an attack like that would have some serious ramifications of the market. But that doesn't seem to be the case anymore. It's, it's as if we really don't care about much of those kind of things. We don't care that joblessness is growing or anything like that. Every time we get news about vaccine, we just rip higher. And this morning is no different. As you can see, the bulls are large and in charge. And this is this morning's pre-market candle, which would suggest the Dow will set a new record high at the open if we can hold up through um, the next um, couple hours here um, leading into the open. We could even strengthen. Um, right now, Dow futures, as I'm speaking, are up 257 points. Um, nothing is going to stand in the way of these bulls. So let's take a look at the technicals of the chart and see what we can uh, um, glean from that. Well, first off, the trends are still very, very bullish. The, the bulls held onto that. In fact, there was very little fear at all in that selling that came in last week. We had a couple little scares, but very little fear that ever showed itself in this market. And keep in mind, the market is also focusing on that hopefulness of a, another stimulus bill. Um, uh, Congress couldn't seem to get their act together to get it done last week, so they extended uh, funding for the government for another week, and now they're going to be working on that stimulus bill today or this, this week, attempting to get that um, uh, passed. Um, so watch this closely. We could even move higher on um, news that that stimulus is going to move on through. The market loves freshly printed money. So we could continue to extend this on up. Now that little bit of rest actually helps things a little bit. We're not as don't have, show the appearance quite as overextended as we were before with that little bit of consolidating rest in here. That actually sets up a lot of stocks with some bullish um, setups. But let's keep in mind that we still are very far away from our technical averages. And as we continue to press and press and press, just remember everyone, if you chase a stock that's already extended, just that change in sentiment overnight could really be painful, so be careful not to chase. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY, 
also very bullish this morning. It's going to fall short of setting that new record high, as you can see here in this pre-market look. But our trends remain very, very bullish. And although we stumbled just a little bit last week, bulls are back on the case here this morning. And we continue to stretch and extend um, this market to the upside. So just once again, be careful not to chase or get caught up in the fear of missing out. Just it's really only going to take a stumble of some kind and we could slide back pretty substantially. So be careful about chasing. Make sure you're planning your trades very, very carefully. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ had kind of the roughest of weeks last week, but notice that we ended up with a um, nice hold here on Friday and we're following through this morning. Now we still have to kind of breach back up through at least 50% of that uh, big bearish engulfing candle in here. We need to get back up through this area in here. So we still have some work to do and we still have that little bit of worry that we could pop up into some resistance here and still come back. But keep an eye on the NASDAQ. Um, it's been um, incredibly resilient all year. And as we continue to extend this market, the bulls just, it just doesn't seem to matter what things cost right now, just buy it and push it higher. So watch that carefully. Let's also take a look at IWM. Now IWM has been very, very strong and it continues to be really fueled up on um, higher energy costs and strength in those financial sectors. And you can see pushing on up here, looks like IWM could potentially reach out, not quite at the open maybe, but could potentially reach out for a new record high as well as we continue to stretch up. Now I gotta tell you this index probably more than any right now gives me a little bit of a concern because we're starting to get that very straight up parabolic look here on IWM. Other than that, we are certainly bullish here, so watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now I mentioned that the VIX showed just a little tiny bit of fear last week and we were kicking up in here, but it was really very, very subdued. Um, you could see it in the price action. There was really no panic at all and just a little bit of profit taking a little bit of pullback in the market and that actually really helped a lot in relieving some of the overextension that we're seeing in a lot of stocks but notice that we held that downtrend i've been mentioning that that we rallied up very close to that we held that downtrend stay below our 50-day moving average on that chart and now this morning's bullishness i suspect is going to pull us right back down so watch that closely today in case fear starts coming back in but we also want to keep in mind of the big swings that are potential in this market and that's just because we still we're, we still haven't been able to break down below 20 handles here in the VIX, so keep that in mind. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four-week new high, new low ratio. And this still gives me concern. Although we pulled back last week, notice we really didn't change anything um, much here in the, in the chart. That little consolidation helped, but it really didn't pull us out of this look of being overextended in the T2122. And this big gap up this morning is likely going to push us right back up in here into this area. You can see that little arrow right there. I think we're gonna gap right up into here. We could easily be pushing um, near that 100% line here in T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio, which means we are very, very extended overall in the market. Now we can remain that way, but just keep in mind, um, oh, we can remain that way for a period of time, but just keep in mind, I have never ever in my entire history of trading, see T2122 lie to us about the fact that when we're extended, we will get at least some kind of a longer term consolidation or a pullback. So just keep that in mind as we race in and feel that fear of missing out. Just keep in mind that we may not be able to just continuously push this market higher, that we may run into a stopping point. So be careful. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and 
let's see, here we go. And we do have some things on that economic calendar that we will want to pay attention to um, later on this week. But to this morning, we've got virtually nothing on here. We've got a couple of bond auctions. And so no concerns there. Keep in mind that tomorrow begins the FOMC meeting. And we have some reports in here tomorrow that could move the market, but then it really gets busy midweek here. As you can see, retail sales, PMI, business inventories, petroleum status, the FOMC announcement, and a Fed chair press conference. And then we've got housing starts, jobless claims, and Philly Fed on Thursday. So we have a busy midweek here on the calendar. Um, watch that closely and think about that as you're preparing your week ahead and planning ahead. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar is rather light, but we, you know, as we continue to wind down um, this quarter's earnings season, we still have some stocks that we should be paying attention to that are reporting today. And I don't think any of these are really going to be market moving reports. And I, in fact, I doubt we see too many market moving reports here on out, but we still want to pay attention to those. So one that I want to bring your attention to, um, CASY, Casey is reporting today, Casey's General Stores. Um, right now, it looks like they're moving a little bit lower this morning. Perhaps they've already reported. This stock has done extremely well. These are these folks um, are just a convenience store. They sell pizza and all kinds of things like that. But as you can see, we've kind of double topped up here and showing a little bit of pressure here on Casey. So watch that closely here today. Um, HQY. HQY is reporting today. Keep an eye on that. Of course, healthcare has been very, very strong here in the economy, and rightfully so. Uh, but keep a close eye on that as we continue to move up here. We may contact that trend here um, relatively soon. Let's watch this if that can move on higher on its earnings report. Um, JKS, um, solar has been tremendously strong in anticipation of the Biden presidency. Um, and you can see that we shot up really, really hard and fast here in that chart. And now let's watch this earnings report today because we have started a little bit of a downtrend. We broke this price support in that chart, breaking that wedge. Let's watch this report this morning. It's possible it could bring us back up into that wedge, but we may have just pushed this a little bit too far too fast. Um, in anticipation, and we could see um, that possibility of more pullback here in JKS. Let's keep an eye on um, SUMO. SUMO will be reporting today. Not much to go on here technically in the chart, other than we do have this um, bullish hold of support. Lots of volatility here. Be careful with a chart like this. This is one of those that can rip your face off. Um, really, really fast. Uh, so watch that closely with that volatility. We also have Toll Brothers reporting today. Um, this could be an, an interesting one. We've had housing um, being very, very strong. And if Toll Brothers were to report really strong, that could help us out. Um, here in that um, housing sector that started to slip just a little bit and maybe began to show a few cracks in the foundation here. So watch that carefully. We've got a little bit of a rounding topping pattern in here, but we're trying to hold up. So let's watch that carefully. So um, if you want to get the full list and, um, of stocks um, reporting, make sure you click the link right below the title of this video. It'll take you back to the morning blog. You can collect get those full list of notables that I have pulled out as notables, not that they may be the biggest market movers of the of the day. Let's take a look at some stocks that are setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could all do me a favor, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And please keep in mind that these videos are not intended to provide hype or prediction to the market. They really are intended to show the details of our technicals, the details of price action, and think about the things that could affect the market for 
the day or the week ahead and help you to determine how you want to approach the market. You know, it's so easy to get caught up in the emotion of the day. See this big bullish move this morning, be caught up in the emotion and make some terrible, terrible mistakes. So hopefully you find this video to be useful. And if you do, please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to grow. And then also please feel free to share this video out there on any social media platform that you so choose. Let's take a look at these stocks now. Remember, every time I talk about a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. And I wanna say this very emphatically, that it is never ever a good idea to blindly follow someone else's trade ideas or to blindly um, chase down stocks that someone else has pointed out. Just remember that all of us have to do our own due diligence for our trading, that we focus in on our rules and guidelines, making sure that we're planning for the potential risk. This is a risk business. So keep that in mind. Um, don't just wildly chase stocks. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And I gotta tell you, there's quite a few that have been uh, setting up and, and looking really, really good here recently. And the rest that the market has seen has helped considerably. Take a look at APPS. APPS continued in this little consolidating move right over here to trend, right where we wanna see it go. And on Friday, pop through my alert here, looking good. You might wanna keep an eye on APPS. I've been keeping a pretty close eye on these um, shippers. UPS had a really good day on Thursday. Well, good days on Thursday, on Friday, and is following through this morning to the upside. Those shippers um, hitting record numbers as um, retail has been really, really strong here in the holiday season. So keep an eye on that as those shippers start to perk up and look pretty good. And I would also keep an eye on FDX that is also showing some considerable strength here in the market. Let's take a look at some other areas here that are starting to look good. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola struggled here a little bit, but boy, on Friday came back strong strongly and it looks like it's following through here. And these are just exactly the kind of patterns that I like to look for. I like to see those stocks that have rested, pulled back, move back through a downtrend and consolidate, just rest. And now we're seeing that bullishness come in. So keep an eye on that Coca-Cola looks like it could move on higher. Take a look at stocks like ExxonMobil um, in the energy sector. Everything is unbelievably strong. Now, I've got to admit that I have a bias here on ExxonMobil because I own it. I'm up substantially in this trade. And I do think this needs a rest now. This is too extended in the short term. And as we approach some big resistance in the chart, Heart. We'll want to recognize that in this level. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that ExxonMobil has to stop right there. It could push right on through before it takes a little bit of a break. But let's watch that in here for that potential of a little bit of rest. And then if it can hold that support level up here, if we can break through or challenge it for that break, then ExxonMobil could extend on higher. And I'm seeing that in lots of energy stocks. Um, energy is really, really strong right now, pushing back up in the anticipation of the recovery. So watch that carefully as we continue to push. Lots and lots of those stocks out there looking very, very bullish. Take a look at some of those metal stocks. Um, AA has had a nice run up and finally rested here just a little bit. You can see I've placed an alert up here. And what's important about this um, area, I think, is that we broke through a major resistance and we're trying to hold that area of support. So let's watch this closely. Now, although this trend, we've kind of slipped down beyond this trend, as long as we stay up here and consolidate and tighten up this range, that sets up that opportunity that we can really break through and push on higher. So watch that closely. Um, AP, um, AA looking very good. XLY is another one, those consumer discretionary stocks holding up very, very well here, as you can see. I placed another alert on this chart right in here. You can see we picked up a little bit of at price action in here last week and we're 
pushing higher this morning. So if we can push on through, you might want to take a look at some XLY. Now, if you're looking for the individual stocks that make up XLY, TC2000 is great for that. We just have to click one icon here and we can pull up everything that makes up XLY. So watch that carefully. Um, there may be some stocks in there that you could really drill down into some nice trades. Take a look at Expedia. Expedia has gone through a little bit of consolidation here. Had kind of a rough day on Friday selling off, but if we can hold this little price support area in here, if we can bounce right back up, just keep an eye on that. These travel stocks are trying to come back around. Watch that closely. Um, there's a pretty significant level right there. If we can hold gr our ground in here, Expedia might be one to move on higher. Take a look at Peloton. Peloton has been very, very strong um, and really has been made by COVID as we shut down gyms and exercise facilities, folks buying the, this equipment on their own. And you can see a nice little consolidating pattern. We broke down just a little bit after pushing up, kind of overextended broke down, rallied back up above a nice level of price support here in the chart, and we are consolidating that. Take a look at that nice little reversal bullish engulfing candle, and we're following through Peloton, looking pretty good. Take a look at Ford. Ford's pulled back a little bit, but we're still holding in that upside trend. Watch this carefully, if that can hold in here and start to push on higher. General Motors is right in that same realm, pulling back a little bit, but we'll wanna keep an eye on that if that can perk back up. Take a look at Etsy. Etsy has remained very, very strong. And there's that pattern again where we break through these resistance levels, hold onto that trend, slide over here. A little bit of volatility right here where we popped up, pulled back, popped back up. But Etsy following through to the upside, looking very, very strong. Keep a close eye on cannabis um, with the Supreme Court denying the Texas lawsuit. Um, it looks like the Biden president has, or presidency has a clear path now. And we want to take a look at this because uh, there was indication that their administration would legalize cannabis. So keep an eye on this. Holding up above a level of price support, we'll want to keep an eye on that chart. So there's a few for you to consider. There's a lot more potentially to look at. There's a lot of good price patterns out there. What I would suggest here, guys, is to make sure, though, you're not chasing stocks like ExxonMobil that's already very extended. Be in the search for stocks like Coke that have rested a little bit, that are closer to price support, because even if the market kind of shifts sentiment, if all of a sudden we get some bad news and the market takes that hard, just keep in mind, these provide much less risk to a stop loss than those that are already pushed up and very, very extended. Everyone, I wanna wish you all a fantastic day. I wanna wish you all the best in your trading. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.